Welcome to a new video. My name's Sean and thanks for visiting my channel, The Fishing Bloggers. Now today we're going to be doing another in focus and today we're going to be looking at the Nash Power Barrow, the big boy of the, of the range. And um, it's a mega, mega bit of kit. I highly recommend you guys to have a look at one. And if you can afford it, definitely buy one. You're not going to be disappointed. Now I'm going to show you what's good and what's bad about the product. I'm basically going to just do a walk around of it, set up with all my kit on it, walk around, show you what it's like with all my kit loaded on there, show you how much room it's got, tell you some of the bad things and the, and the mainly the good things because it is a great bit of kit and um, just give you a bit of an idea about what to expect if you're going to get one. So let's um, get into the video and go and have a look. Nash Power Barrow, absolute mega bit of kit. I really, really highly recommend you to get one of these if you can. Really makes a difference. This place is um not not the hardest place to get around, but you've got loads of roots along here and a lot of water collected in places. And if you were using a normal barrow, it does take a little bit of graft trying to get them around. I've done it for many, many, many years, and it is really nice to have a little bit of help. Battery's a little bit low at the moment, so I forgot the charger. Well, she's saying full, but she was on amber a minute ago. And um, yeah, mega bit of kit. Can you obviously carry loads of kit on there. I've got the um, Avid Benchmark X, which is a huge, huge bench air. And I got it because I can now carry it with ease and sleep nice and comfortably if nothing's happening. I've got the um, Cyprinus Typhoon Max Headroom, which is a pretty big bivy, but also packs down nice and compact and um, quick to set up. And as you can see, I've got all the other kit loaded up on there so um i've got the rear rear barrow bag tucked in there which is where most of my um main sort of terminal tackle goes so it's easy to access and then i've got a bit of bait in there generally speaking it's just food a bit of spare clothing um i've got a few bits and bobs in that one the other side is exactly the same i've got the water butt in there and um that's about it that's all I, that's all i need really I've got a thinking anglers um, waterproof cover on there just in case it starts raining it keeps the bed nice and dry um, you can easily put buckets on the handles you can get outriggers I did buy them but I've not used them because it is absolute solid bit of kit and you can easily put a bucket on there a bucket on here and obviously you're not holding the weight because you've got the rear legs anyway so it doesn't really matter to be honest I've got my separate bag which I carry on my back, which has got my camera kit in. That's one of the Fox Rage bags, it's actually a lure bag, but it works perfectly for the camera kit. And um, yeah, that is the setup. In case anyone's ever wondered what I use and what I, what I uh, do, I've had a the two, few guys stop me as they've chatted and they've had a look at it because they've um, seen it obviously about. So I did show them it how, um, how good it is. It's a lovely bit of kit, but um, yeah, that is the Power Barrow. Obviously, the wheel has got the motor and everything in it. Above that you've got a little compartment that sits above the wheel where the batteries and everything go. I pretty much just leave everything in there and then I just take them out as when I need to charge them. And um, yeah, that is it. Absolute mega bit of kit. Um, one thing I would say is um, it's obviously quite a bit of money. I actually bring a heavy duty cable with me which we would use for locking up expensive bikes. And I actually lock it up at night. I um, attach it to either a solid structure like a tree or something like that or my bed chair something that I can lock it up to because it is an expensive bit of kit and there's been a few I've heard a few uh, stories of people having their having their kit nicked and that so I wouldn't want anyone to go wandering off with it in the night so I do lock it up so that no one can take it which I do recommend if you fish sort of day ticket waters or open access venues where people can potentially get in then um, make sure you keep your kit secure and um, don't go making anything easy for anyone because unfortunately there's some proper scumbags out there which will happily walk off with your um, hard earned bit of kit so um anyway that is the power barrow mega mega bit of kit i've used it on the syndicate i've used it on a few different day tickets now and it has made life a lot lot easier you can literally just chuck whatever you want on there i mean i've got i normally bring one tripod i've got my old tripod there which is actually better quality than new one I've got another tripod sort of buried under here which is what I use now because it's a bit more compact but because I've got the barrel I can bring both of them. I have got two cameras. I've got this um, camera I'm using at the moment which is a Canon. Uh, it is actually a vlogging camera and um, I've then got my old SLR, Canon SLR which um, I've been using for a, a long time but um, 
which just obviously means I can film more, film a bit better, and um, produce some better videos. But there you go. That is it. If you want to know any questions, or if you've got uh, anything you want answered, then um, just send me a message or drop a comment in the video below in the uh, comments, and I try and ans ask her, uh, answer it for you. But uh, yeah, that is it. A mega mega bit of kit, and um, yeah, it's really good. This um. This here, the only issue I've had, well, I've had a couple of issues. First one was this doesn't come fixed. I think it's so that you can choose where you have it. But when I first bought it, this was loose. So when I was trying to push the lever down, it was basically rotating back and I was almost not be, not able to reach it with my finger. So there's a little screw thread up inside here, which you need to tighten up basically. Um, if you don't, it moves around. So I've basically pushed it all the way to the top, locked it in, and that way when I push it down, it doesn't go anywhere. And you can actually hold, you can actually hold it like that, push it down all the way to the bottom with your handle, uh, with your hand still firmly on the grip. So it's nice and comfortable. I'll be honest, this barrel is so good, loaded up like that, you can literally push it like that, and it will take your kit along. You haven't even got to hold the thing. It is that, that good at doing its job. Um, obviously you need to guide it a bit over rough terrain one thing I have um, had a problem with which I've had to contact um, Nash about is um, it pulls slightly to the right I've heard it's a little bit of an issue they've had I don't know why but um, I've heard they've had a little bit of an issue um, with them pulling to the right every every now and then they get one that um, isn't aligned I don't think um, I'm not quite sure what it is I took it back to where I bought it from which is Brist Brist Anglin Centre they had a look at it they confirmed there was definitely something wrong with it so I'm actually waiting another one and um, they're gonna they're gonna replace it once they get some more in stock I think they're a bit low on stock at the moment but um seems to be the, the case everywhere at the moment but yeah that's the uh, that is the Nash Barrow mega mega bit of kit if you're interested in buying one I highly recommend Make an investment, it is really, really good. So just a couple of little pointers then, which I didn't highlight in the main walk around. So charging the barrow, it takes about six hours or so, I've estimated when I've been charging the barrows up per barrow, so it does take a bit of time. So if you are gonna get one, you do need to take that into account that you need to make sure the barrows are topped up and charged, and it does take a bit of time in between sessions. So it is something you're gonna to have to think of um, if you do a lot of short session fishing, um, you might need to um, have a spare set of batteries so that you can have one ready to go for your next session if you go out regularly. But um, definitely something you need to think about. Um, also the size of it, fully set up. I can get it in the back of my Caddy Maxi. It does go into the back up the ramp and I can set it up in there. But obviously if you've got a smaller vehicle, you're gonna have to take it all apart. Now I haven't shown you it taken apart because that's not how I use it. I have it fully set up all the time. It sits in my garage ready to go with a bed chair on it all loaded up ready to go and then when I get the nod from the missus to be able to go fishing I just wheel it up the ramp into the back of my caddy and off I go so obviously if you haven't got a van you're not going to be able to do that and you will have to take it apart I would recommend checking out the Nash video if you want to see a bit more in depth about taking it apart I also think Carpology did a really good one and they actually show you it from it in pieces and putting it all together and then they show you it um, a bit more in depth as well but this is just a user review someone that's had it for a few months how i've got on with it and what i found good and bad about it so hopefully you found that useful if you do remember to subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon to get up to date notifications also check out our other social media showing at the bottom of the page now and um yeah follow us keep up to date on what we're doing and um hopefully you've liked the video Give it a thumbs up if you have and we'll see you in the next one. Until next time, get out there and be lucky and we'll see you soon.